What's up friends, Brandon here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you saw my last video, I went down to Coleman, Alabama to the Diecast Extreme Diecast Show. And I figured that was gonna be kind of a lengthy video. So <laughs> the haul, which is also gonna be a lengthy video, uh, is gonna be on a separate one. And that's what you're watching right now. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to first open up a package from uh, my buddy Vince. And then I'll go on to show you everything that I picked up at the Diecast Show. Stick around. Don't you just love it when your mailman drops off a box that looks like this? Yeah, I know I do. Uh, this one coming from friend Vince, who is a fellow collector of mine. And uh, I'll just go ahead and read some of what he put in here. Just a small random act of kindness to share with a fellow collector who is just as passionate about collecting as I am. Today, there are so many greedy scalpers and hoarders, it really takes the... Mm, out of the joy of the hobby. It's hard to find anything these days. I get excited to see what's upcoming uh, for things that Hot Wheels has to offer only to be let down when they are hoarded and scalped by people who are just trying to make a quick dollar. It's wrong in my eyes, but I guess that's the world we live in. Uh, anyway, uh, when I see someone as passionate as I am, I like to help them out when I can. If you're able to secure one or two sets of the Kroger exclusives for me, that would be amazing. Uh, this is on me, brother, without any expectations. Just keep the awesome and entertaining videos coming and man, I'll keep watching. And Hey, if you want to do a mail call, uh, race off video with these, I'll be super excited to see that, which you will. Um, maybe you could give a shout out to my Instagram page at hot wheels heaven. That would be cool and appreciated, but once again, not necessary. I would just think it was neat to see these cars racing on your channel. Maybe given the scale racing treatment of upgrading their speed with graphite, which I definitely will do. Okay, well, enjoy my friend. I'm pleased that I was able to help and I will try to secure some others as you need in the future, maybe through members at my club. Take care and God bless your bud and scale racing channel fan, Vince K. Nice letter, Vince. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, as soon as I find some of those Kroger exclusives, they will be headed your way. I have not yet found any of them, not the new ones but I no doubt will. All right, so let's jump on in here, shall we? Oh boy, yeah. The new Honda set, 16 Honda Civic Type R. Yeah, he has secured me the entire Honda Civic, or the Honda set, so uh, that is definitely something I have not found on the pegs, not even a sliver of these cars I have seen out here in my area. R. Pretty cool set, if you ask me. And yes, we will be cracking these, doing the From the Pegs to the Track video, just from some more distant pegs in the Honda Civic Si in red. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. Uh, oh, sweet. The Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. This is the, uh, the blue and pink series. I think I mentioned that I had a hard time finding this skyline out of this set. So that, I think, completes it for me on this one. So we'll probably go ahead and do a video on those as well. Uh, Muscle and Blown, this one is the Peak Case Regular Treasure Hunt. Looking good. That's a casting I do collect. This is one of the newer castings that I have kind of grown very fond of. So, uh, very nice to have that one in the collection for sure. Uh, and some red editions. The Automobili Pininfarina Batista in red. Well, that looks good in red. Porsche 935, also red edition. Looking pretty sweet. And the Subaru WRX STI, this one in black. Awesome. Glad to have these in my collection, Vince. And uh, anytime you need anything, hit me up. I'll do what I can to help you out. And let's go ahead and move on to a trade item. On the way back from the show, I met up with Matthew. He is the Ferris Finds Diecast channel. So uh, if you haven't seen his stuff before, he does a lot of peg hunting 
and some tips and tricks and stuff like that. So check out Ferris Fine Zycast. And I traded him, I believe it was the uh, red, white, and blue sunny red letter pickup for this Lambo. This one has been pretty hard for me to get. And the Lambo is looking sweet. And the other thing is the Studebaker Champ Super Treasure Hunt. I had another super that I had two of that uh, we struck up a deal. We decided to go ahead and trade supers. So this one I have not been able to find and I've got it now. So Matthew, much appreciated and uh, hope we can do some more trading in the future. All right, let's start getting into the haul a little bit. All these cars from here all the way down to here were sold by a gentleman and his son and almost every single one of them were a buck. If they weren't a buck, I'll let you know. That way I don't have to say it every time. But uh, first one up, Cadillac LMP. 65 Ford Ranchero with a lot of cool flamage going on. 70 Chevelle SS Wagon, the fire chief in orange with flamage. Dotson Bluebird Wagon. Honda CRX. 70 Buick GSX, 2009 new model. Looking splendid in red. Gas Monkey Garage Corvette. Talk blue. And way too fast. When I see these for a buck, I scoop them up. Tesla Roadster. This one without the space guy in the driver's seat. Chevy Blazer 4x4. This one is a 2011 hot one, so it's going to be metal on metal. Unfortunately, not going to have any track duty with those kind of tires, but still kind of cool to find that in a dollar bin. Matchbox 4 GT out of their Streakers line. Pretty cool with the retro five spokes. 09 F-150 in graffiti. 66 Ford Fairlane GT. Jaguar XJ220, another one that I pick up if I can find it in a dollar tub. 69 Mercury Cyclone, talc blue with flamage. McLaren F1 GTR in black. Chevy Camaro, it's the Indy 500 pace car. Pretty clean looking tampos on that car. 77 Dodge Van, the 68 Action News Decos. Like the looks of that one. 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. This one in kind of a teal color. Another 09 F-150. This is one of the 2009 new models. 2010 Ford Mustang GT in blue. Looks like a Sheriff Deco on the side. Haven't had one with that car before. Tail Dragger. Tail dragger usually has some heft to it, even if it does have the uh, plastic base. Not necessarily the best track car, but how can you deny that flame job? Dixie Challenger in red. With some tribal flames going on. Volkswagen T2 pickup. Kind of a patina paint job. And slick. Firebird funny car for a buck. Sign me up. 1970 Chevelle, this one from the classic series, probably, no, what is that? 2004, I think is what it is. Got kind of a Spectra Flame black. Maybe a little bit of blue hint to it with the racing stripes, metal on metal. Also a buck. He had some of the Hondas out there. These ones were priced at $2 a piece. And, uh, even though I did get those from Vince, I'll probably use some of these for some customs in the future. So two bucks, I figured what the heck. And I got the Civic EG as well, $2. One buck for the Alfa Romeo Julia Sprint GTA, this one in red. Man, happy to have that one. Roger Dodger Valentine's Day ride. This one's gonna go to a friend of mine. Corvette Grand Sport, black with white stripes. Audi R8, this one with the 10 spokes. Very nice looking casting. 
18 Dodge Challenger Demon. This one in all yellow. Looking pretty good. 2010 BMW M3 in all white. Too bad no taillight tampos in the rear. They got the M3 badge, but they didn't do the taillights. Custom 11 Camaro in a gunmetal silver. 81 DeLorean, faster than ever. Can't pass that up for a buck. 67 Pontiac GTO, also a buck. Also faster than ever. Custom V8 Vega FTE in white. Clean looking little casting. Dodge Challenger Concept. This one in a silver and red. Faster than ever. Dodge Charger SRT8. Faster than ever wheels. Has the tribal tampas going down the sides and the top. Triumph TR6. Uh, also faster than ever. And another one in red. And the last car I picked up from those two gentlemen is the Straight Pipes. Faster than ever wheels. So that was it from those two gentlemen. Everything I got from them was a dollar a piece with the exception of the two Hondas. So a lot of good stuff there for not a lot of money. Next up, I picked up a few from another vendor to get the new Zamac Baja bug. Looking pretty sweet. And the other one I got from that guy, 74 Mustang Boss 429. This one from Jada. It's the big time muscle and uh, yeah, looking pretty good for a Mustang. This one, uh, not a downhiller. I believe it's got real rider tires on it, but I do collect a small number of these cars, the ones that kind of uh, tickle my fancy. And this one surely did. Uh, I paid $5 for those two. All right, on to the next seller. Ended up picking up six from him. This one, a very, very minty night streaker. Metal on metal. We will see him go downhill. And 510 with a relatively difficult to find colorway. So those two. I'm a sucker for the Daytona. This one red with the gold seven spokes. Looking pretty good. Speed spray, funny car. Porsche 928 in white and the fat fendered 40 with the five spokes. So all six of these cars I ended up picking up for, I think it was $15. Next we had a uh, young man selling a bunch of newer premium cars out there and he really wasn't selling a lot of the newer premiums. And uh, he said, Hey, I've got a few boxes in the back. If you want to take a look, in the back of the truck. So I had him get the boxes out and he had a lot of main lines in there that were pretty sweet. Uh, everything you see here with the exception of the last car I paid $2 a piece for, and this is the Ferrari 512M in blue. 70 Mercury Cyclone from Larry's Garage. So this is the uh, real rider tire version. Orange with the black top. Again, $2. Dodge Challenger Concept. Modern classics, metal on metal. And I've had a few of these cracked open before. They do have what looks like nickel axles on them. And that's one of the reasons why they roll so well in my opinion. So uh, yeah, we'll see this one hit the track. Two bucks. Another modern classics, this one, the 70 Ford Torino. This one in gold, Got some stripes on it. Again, metal on metal. See an F40, get an F40, especially for two bucks. Pontiac Firebird, this one, the military rods version. Looking pretty sweet. 70 Chevelle SS Wagon, this one with the Moon Eyes Deco. Casting I Collect, also two bucks. Custom Mustang from the Vintage Collection Series. This one in a uh, bronze colorway, black wall wheels. Kind of a throwback to the red lines. Also two bucks. Hot Wheels Classics. Convertible Mustang Blue, the white stripe. Also two dollars. 
And this is the last one I got from him, and this was not a $2 car. I paid 10 for him, but this one is the dark silver variant of the Datsun Bluebird 510. It's one I've had on my radar. Very nice looking model. Not a bad price for 10 bucks either. Another seller, kind of hidden away in the corner a little bit. I picked up two cars from him. The uh, eight ball Roger Dodger, got that from my buddy Mike. And the number one carded pro racing McDonald's Thunderbird. Got both of these for uh, $3. And there was a fellow there with a bunch of uh, nice looking cars in the old Hot Wheels carrying cases. And there was one front run in Fairmont. Really, this is the only front run in Fairmont that I saw at the show that kind of caught my eye. It looks extremely minty. I don't see any flea bites on the paint. The wheels look minty. Everything looks nice on this guy. Paid 10 bucks for him. These next two, from another seller, he had the Hall of Fame 10 car 10. And he had all these individually priced, so I ended up picking up the Roger Dodger. And these were pretty much new out of the 10, never been played with, so they are minty fresh. And this one's looking good. Paid $4 for him and $2 for this old number five. Red five spokes. Pretty good detailing on the top and metal on metal. And there was another young man out there who was uh, selling at a die cast show for his first time. And he had a lot of carded stuff as you'll see in just a minute, but he had two jammers that were absolutely jam packed full of freshly pulled cars out of the blister. And he had all these priced at 50 cents a piece. So uh, yeah, this is the 70 Chevelle SS purple. Custom 64 Galaxy, this one in red. Custom 69 Chevy pickup. With some uh, interesting looking decos going on, but the uh, paintwork on this one, this uh, unnatural light doesn't do it justice. Looks excellent out in the sunshine. 09 F-150, 67 Chevy C-10, this one metallic green some serious flamage going down the side. Time shifter in red. Baja bone shaker. Uh, the light probably doesn't do this one justice. This paint job looks a lot like the uh, Honda Prelude exclusive from Dollar General. Looking pretty slick. 69 Ford Torino Talladega in red. This guy can be hard to find. Ford Falcon XB, this one in purple. 68 Copa Camaro in red. Lamborghini Aventador. 64 Corvette Stingray, this one in a metallic green. Looking really nice. Steampunk Roger Dodger, this one also going to Mike. And a Monte Carlo for my buddy Bobby. This one in black. Moving on to the carded cars that I got from him. These were all priced at a dollar with the exception of two, and I'll tell you about those in a second. This is the uh, Volkswagen Caddy. Um, yep, that's the first edition with Tampa work in the front and the rear, all silver, looking pretty cool. Three window, 34 Ford. Metal on metal. Lamborghini Countach pace car. This uh, colorway I didn't have in red. Custom Ford Maverick in the dark blue. Both colorways for the Momo Volkswagen Kaffir Racer. And both colorways for the Magnus Walker Volkswagen Kaffir Racer. And three colorways for the Datsun Fair Lady 2000. And the last two I picked up from him, the Bone Shaker, this one in red, that guy was two bucks. And also the 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. Uh, this one I had not gotten yet, so I was kind of glad to see that one. Of course, it's a Zamac edition, red and white stripage, <laughs> looking pretty good. So that concludes all of the cars that I ended up picking up from the vendors out front. The rest of these that you're gonna see 
for the remainder of the video are going to be everything that I picked up from David at Diecast Extreme inside the store. He's got some dump bins below the uh, loose cars, and I think you probably saw that, uh, the loose cars at least. But he's got three totes underneath, and he's got everything priced at a dollar down there. And there's some kind of an issue with the card or something like that. But uh, everything priced at a buck. They're going to get cracked. I don't really care what the card looks like, so... Corvette Stingray, also a buck. Mercedes CLK LM, buck. Ford F-150, a buck. 68 El Camino, metal on metal for a dollar. Mazda MX-5 Miata, you guessed it, buck. See a way too fast, buy a way too fast, especially if it's a dollar. Ford GT90. Yellow blister, that means it's from China. Hot tub. Pagani Waira in red. 32 Ford Coupe, this one white. Silver flames. Picked up this Buick Grand National from my buddy Bobby in black. Another GT90. And the silver Chevy Chevelle. Not that you can tell it's silver, but trust me, it is. All right, the rest of these cars uh, paid varying prices for all of them. But I will say that if you go in and you visit David at his store and you buy a lot of cars there, he gives you a really good deal on stuff. So rather than go through each individual price on these, um, what I'll do is I'll just tell you what I spent overall from everything at uh, his store that day. And this is a custom 12 Ford Mustang from the 50 Years series. Got all three of the Bone Shaker first editions. These go into my buddy Mike, who collects Bone Shakers. 1965 Mustang from the Mustang Mania set. This one in black, looks like it's got a red stripe going down the side and that's about it. 68 Mercury Cougar. I think this one was down in one of the dollar bins. 70 Chevelle SS Wagon with the Hearst livery. Looking sweet. Another casting I collect, the Custom 62 Chevy. This one with the satin red with the flamage. Looking tough. Jaguar XJ220, this one in blue. We'll see about that one right there. And this is the Volkswagen Golf GTI, the red edition, black. Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, this one, the Zamac version. Had this one on my list for a while. Got a good deal on it. C6 Corvette in blue with faster than evers. 75 Chevy van with the Tiki guy on it. 67 Dodge Charger, this one in a cranberry red with white striping. Looking nice. Datsun 620, this one in green. Cars the Decades Bone Shaker, I got this one for my own collection. Didn't have this guy yet. Ferrari 330 P4, this one in blue. Yeah, I do like that. Porsche 911 GT3 RS in lime green. Mm -hmm. 1963 Chevy 2. That one has got some killer flames. It's black. But man, those flames. Looking tight. 2014 Copo Camaro. Nice and white. Matchbox BMW 3 Series Coupe. I like these. Metal on metal. They are heavy and... They punish the card for it, that is for sure. Matchbox Pontiac stock car, this one, the Thailand version, with gold wheels. Saw one of these do really good on the lightweight race, so I uh, figured, why not? Oh look, another out of the dollar bin. First edition, Escort Rally. Looking good. Firebird Funny Car. This is also going to my friend Mike. Found this one in the dollar dump bin. Uh, it's a premium version of the, what is it, the Chevy Astro van? Minus wheels, but uh, it's got everything else. So a buck for that, 
throw whatever wheels I want underneath it. David's got a case where he had a bunch of loose cars just sitting around. What is this? Porsche 930. I believe this is uh, one of the Target variations. Metal on metal, looking pretty good. He had these loose cars right here priced at uh, $2 a piece or three for five. And that's the Smith Electric. And the nice thing about this is I got to test roll each and every one of them. And I know they all roll pretty darn good. So uh, yeah, I got this 50th anniversary. I think that's a 68 Mercury Cougar. Also a good roller. Also metal on metal. And the last one is this Ford F-150. This one, um, this is editor's choice. It's got a special kind of paint job going on on it, but it's got the uh, PC5 wheels. Really, really smooth roller on that truck. Curious to see how it's gonna do on the downhill. And the last thing I picked up from David, uh, $10 is what it is. Thunder trucks, road splitting, asphalt kicking. I uh, picked this up for my buddy Scoop. He mentioned he'd really like to have that set, so uh, kept my eye out for it, and it showed up in the store. And, uh, you know, it, the packaging isn't perfect. The trucks are all brand new. Um, not too bad for 10 bucks. All told, everything that I got from David in this store, I ended up paying around uh, 82, $82 after tax. So... Uh, not too bad. Like I said, if you go in there and you buy a lot of cars, he really works with you on the price. And uh, 82 for, God, I don't even know how many cars that was. And uh, some of them are extremely nice. I think I did fairly well. And the only thing that I ended up picking up out of the retail stores on the way down was this Porsche edition from Majorette. I've got one of these already, but they've got this one out now that has all of the cars with the exception of the Panamera are swapped with different models. Uh, really, really like that 917. 934 right next to it looking good. Again, the only thing I bought from a retail store that day. There was really not much there. Kroger had those Mountain Drifter premiums hanging on the pegs, but uh, there were no chases in there. So I already had that set anyway, minus the set. So I wasn't too hurt about that not being there. Didn't expect it to be anyway. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you on this one. Leave a comment down below and let me know which out of uh, all the stuff that I ended up with tickles your fancy the most. I ended up meeting a guy from Japan. His name was Ken. He uh, struck up a friendship with me, oh, probably two months ago. He was really inquiring about a lot of the diecast stuff that was in the area, including diecast extreme. And I told him, hey man, if you ever make it to the States, make sure you come by when they have a show up there because they've always got really good stuff. So I got to meet Ken for the first time and a uh, really cool dude. He is an avid Hot Wheels collector, and it was nice meeting him. I enjoy talking with him very much. Um, again, if you're ever in Coleman, Alabama, or close to it, make sure you stop by David's shop. Diecast Extreme, they're open on most days, except for, I think, Monday and Tuesday. Um, he's always got new stuff coming in, and... Uh, yeah, he also is available on Facebook. If you want anything in particular, send him a picture via Facebook Messenger and he can probably hook you up and he also ships. So call, uh, text, whatever you need to do, stop in and see him. Make sure you let him know I sent you and I don't think you'll regret it. Well, that's it for this one. I enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the haul. And until next time, y'all stay healthy, have fun collecting.